hey y'all what's up um before we jump in just friendly reminder this is from 20 years ago um for the most part i really don't <laughs> i don't talk like this at all anymore this is from when i was uh 14 years old so um i'm sure if you've seen you know um my previous videos uh you might have noticed like certain lingo that i was using that was like you know that hot shit at the time or just saying like really cringy shit emo like really like teenage angst emo shit and and definitely some words that are like so fucking inappropriate that i would never ever say now because i know better um so i want to say that first before you know jumped in <laughs> all right so uh june 23rd 2001 dear journal well nothing big happened today as usual damn when i was at work i felt like punching the fuck out of ben that furby looking f word so the f word is a slur against um i guess you could say queer men or homosexual um men uh yeah so I do not say that anymore. Um, I feel like that was like a big thing that people used to say at that time, um, but I sure as fuck don't say that anymore, so I'm not even gonna say the word. So you can do the guesswork. Well, anyway, a breakthrough happened today. My mom actually let me go to the movies with Nana by ourselves. Um, you know we went to go see The Fast and the Furious. Uh, you know it was off the meters. <laughs> And Michelle was ripping it. Um, that's my bitch right there, kid. Um, well, that's all till then. So it, oh man. See, that's why I said that. It's it's so funny to like see like, other than the cringy shit, it's so funny to see like what was like, shit that we used to say back then, like off the meters, my God. And so, um, I I haven't said this in any of my videos yet, but I was like an OD hardcore, michelle rodriguez fan because you know and again that's another video i need to do as far as like how i identify and things that i connect with and in terms of like gender um so i'm gonna talk about that a different day but you know i i have said before i'm a big movie person i was like the one or like the main that and music was like probably like the two main things that like kept me sane you know um as a kid and as a teenager but yeah like when i um saw the preview in 2000 for um girl fight which was as far as i know michelle rodriguez like debut role i think she was like 22 at the time um you know she's puerto rican and dominican and her energy like it was like it was like a mirror to me i'm like yo this shit is crazy and i actually went to go see the movie I believe it was October 2000, either November, no, I don't know, but it was, a, it, was a, it was the fall. It was the fall of the year 2000. I went to go see it with my brother. Um, I don't know if it was, I can't remember what theater it was at, but that's not important. Um, but I went with my brother Carlos and I was just so geeked the entire fucking time I was seeing this shit. I was like, I couldn't believe this shit was real. I'm like, oh my God. Um, I was like so amped after we got out of the theater. I was like trying to like, you know, trying to punch my brother and shit like playfully, like, you know, but um, yeah, man, that shit fucked me up. So when I saw she was coming out in this movie, I was like, yo, it's a wrap. I'm in there, like, I'm gonna go see this shit. So yeah, so I was uh, so, so amped. And I'm pretty positive I saw this twice. So I saw, this was the first time I saw it, and then I think I saw it again after, so I guess we'll find out, because I probably put it in a future entry, so. Um, but yeah, I was, a, I was a huge stan of this chick, and then, and then a lot of people knew that, so they kept calling me um, like her twin or some shit, or they would just call me like R Michelle Rodriguez when I was younger. I know I look like this now, but your girl used to have an athletic build, so. <laughs> anyway. Um, judge yourself uh, <laughs> but yeah that shit was cool um, oh and another fun fact I remember when I finally um, was trying to get the DVD I couldn't find this shit and there was a store at the mall the Massapequa mall 
that had like I guess like DVDs and shit and I think you could special order it so I had to special order this DVD just so that I can I can have it but I did have the soundtrack I had the sound because I was very big on soundtracks um, so I did have the soundtrack I had to special order the DVD a few years later um, but yeah I used to I used to listen to that shit all the time and the funny thing is I can't even find some of the songs on YouTube when I want to just listen to it in the background so I don't know I guess your bitch is weird I am weird there's no guessing <laughs> I still have the DVD by the way and I still watch it almost like once a year so you know I don't really keep up with her as much anymore but uh but yeah that that movie will forever mean so so much to me um yeah but you know and I never met anybody personally that felt the same about that movie and like the impact that it had in terms of like still being able to simultaneously embrace your femininity and your masculine masculinity and you know and also like being able to show that type of strength and softness and it just it was just all the fucking things and if you haven't seen it do yourself a fucking favor and go see that shit because it's like it's the best thing and you don't have to necessarily it doesn't have to like resonate with you it's a great movie so um don't say i didn't tell you i i think you should watch it so girl fight came out in the year 2000 michelle rodriguez independent film her debut role get your life go watch that shit um okay i didn't think i was gonna be talking this much for this one so i am done and let me see looks like i will be back tomorrow so all right y'all deuces I, I gotta stop doing that shit. I be wanting to say peace. I say deuces. I'm a mess. Goodbye. Okay.